I tried dieting, but I, I just, I had two Italian grandmothers who taught me how to cook from a young age. And the idea of giving up the foods I love from my Italian favorites to brownies was just enough to send my little head into a tailspin. When I was 15 years old, I weighed close to 200 pounds. I did the fat-free thing because that was all the rage in the early days of my weight loss journey. I would just cut all the fat out. But the problem with that is that it creates cravings because there's so much sugar added to food many times when they reduce the fat. Dressings can be really deceitful. Here's one of my favorite examples. Here we have a brand that says healthy kitchen. It says super light. It really makes you think that this is gonna be so good for you. But then you turn it over and see that it has 12 grams of sugars for two tablespoons. If you like sesame ginger, that's totally fine. But instead of going fat free, full of sugar, try something like this. It has only one gram of sugar with seven grams of fat. When you're out purchasing things like salad dressings, like opt for a moderate amount of olive oil. You know, obviously you don't want one with 16 grams of fat. If you're gonna eat salad, there's no point. But you know, six, seven grams of fat and just a tiny bit of sugar, or make your own. Use a teaspoon of olive oil, four to five grams of fat, and you can make a delicious salad. There's a lot of different products that play a lot of tricks on us. The, um, sometimes the ones that say healthy and say light are the ones you have to read most. Then there's other products like a fat-free half and half versus a traditional. The second ingredient in fat-free half and half is corn syrup solids. Again, not good for your diet. Just go ahead and use a little bit of the full fat half and half or opt for something completely different. And then when it comes to peanut butter, this one's really deceitful. Peanuts are a good fat. They're really good for you. So just eat the full fat one. Don't go for the reduced fat. The best way to make sure that you're doing your body justice is to go for a balance. Look at the labels and don't just look at fat and calories. You want to look at sugars. You want to look at cholesterol. Because at the end of the day, it's all about balance and enjoying what you're eating, not just cutting one ingredient out. I still swear to this day that I have no willpower, but the good thing is that I really am happier now than I was at 200 pounds, not only because of my appearance, but really because I eat more indulgently. I eat super aware. I know what I'm putting in my body, but it's not this whole mind game anymore. It's like I read labels and I just have a general sense of what is good for my body. I choose to say yes to foods I want and no if I don't really care about them.